Hello guys, I am here today with my another video. My video is how to insert data using Ajax through. So you need to know what is the Ajax. Ajax is uh, Ajax is submit the data without uh, refresh the page. So what I do, I create one HTML page. Okay. So I will type uh, simple HTML form HTML add title submit form now I will save my file in my htdoc folder so name I will give you the name demo index.php ok so here is my html form now I will create simple form with some field that uh, we have to insert into database so this is a simple form with I prepare with table I will give you some more CSS so it look better I will give a length height 500 pixel length okay. now I give the width of table 400 pixel with border and pixel ok now my fourth one is mobile number this is the simple data of the first name, last name, email and mobile number so you have to insert that data into the database so I will show you how to you can insert the data into the database with the use of Ajax so I take the, my submit button here that I give the ID and name with submit button now I take input type tags for first name give the one name F name and ID F name with the my input type tags that is the attribute now second one is last name so I also take here input type text also name for this field is lm and id is lm always guys do the input type text and give the id and name same so you can't confuse for the coding ok and now my mobile number input type text name more Also, I give the ID same as name, like mobile, right? Now my HTML form is ready. Now we can see the output, how that looks my form. So I will run my project in localhost. This is my form is ready. So this is the first name, last name, email, mobile number, and submit. Now I look at look at the form. This form is too messy, so I give the some CSS that looks better. So what I do, I I give the 400 pixel height, so it's little bit height is less. Okay, now it's look good. Now I give the submit button to some align CSS, so you can take call span in the tables that give the submit button into align right side ok now I take a line center ok now it's look good so so now I can create a database with my requirement in the form so as you can see in the form we have a five five field in the form so first name last name email and mobile name now I create a database I give the database name student and five columns ok so first is my id i give the index as a primary and now second file is first name now i ok f name Type is vector. I give the length 50 for 
north of the Quaker, third one is Ellen, give the Verkin, go to the I give the input type of Verkin and length is 80. And last is mobile number and give the Verkin and length 12. Now I save the table. So you can see that my simple table is ready in my SQL database for the student ID, F name, L name and email. Okay. Now third step, when you submit the data using Ajax and anytime you use the Ajax, so you have to put one Ajax file for that. So I will show you which file you want to put in the your index.php file. So I will search for that file, jQuery CDN. I will put directly online. You also you also download and put to with your uh, project in your folder so I take online here that is the ajax jquery.mini.js file you can simply download from ajax cdn websites now I will put that file in my header always be careful you please put the ajax jquery.mini.js file with uh, uh, with the use of Okay, now you put the Ajax file, so now its file is run or not, so you have to check, then you can simply give the Ajax, a jQuery code to check that that alerts is coming or not, so I will write down the code for that purpose with my submit button, so I take the dollar hash, hash button my ID dot click and simply check that in function and curly braces open close and put the alert. So we can check that that file is running or not. Okay, so my alert written false alert. Put, I put in the alert some message. Message is hello world. Okay, so when I click on my submit button, that alert coming. That means my Ajax file is running very well. Okay. So hit the submit button and as you can see hello world is coming in my alert so your file is you have running very well. Okay so now we are checked that our Ajax file is working well. Now I will call for the Ajax. So dollar dot Ajax is the function. So you have to write all whole code in that between that brackets. Now I will use type post that parameter of Ajax. Now my URL for other files to submit a data where server side coding we will do it. This is the data that we want to submit and last one parameter is success function. So you if your all Ajax data submitted that is coming in response that if your if you insert data successfully then alert message show you the data is inserted successfully. Now I will give the URL of another file insert.php where we do the coding for the server side language in PHP. So my, I will create one file in PHP where I will write down the insert query. This is the insert file and first of all write down insert query before we can check the data yet or not on this page with Ajax. So in the Ajax there is two method to submit the form with use of serialized serialized function and also with particular form data you can take so I write down first where variable form data and I give the ID to the my form that is form data and now I copy that ID and put it into this variable dot has because this is ID dot form dot serialize. So what serialize do? So what serialize do? Serialize is working on that all the elements of the form that all data put directly into the that variable. So now I will show you the all form elements are 
going to the server side or not with printer. So if we can check that all data I've got in server dot server side or not. So I go to insert dot PHP file. So we can check first the all data properly comes here or not. So printer dollar underscore post and I simply die. Now refresh my phone. Simple dummy data I will put first name, last name. It's my email, ABC, the gmail.com. the core data I got from here that's come from the server side that I will put here the code now so now all data is come here in success function in response so I simply run the my response and you can see already the there is now so now I create database connectivity after me. So here is my MySQL I connect. This is my local host. This is my username. That is root. Password is blank. This is my DB name. I will simply put my DB name test. Now second is condition to check that your connectivity is connectivity is there connect to the database or not. So I will show you that we can check that it's connectivity or not so in else you know, I can check that database connectivity is ok then let's go to the else so simply I now I again submit my form and check that connectivity is ok or not will verify that all things oh, ok there is the alert so I will remove that alert from server side ok it's got in my ok this is go to the ok condition in else ok so my database connectivity is proper now I simply put in such query and show you that all data are inserted in the DB so first of all I write down the code for insert query so here is my query that I prepare already so insert into table name so our table name is student and now I put the values with my column names so my value is coming in the asterisk dollar underscore post so asterisk is divide the all uh, all the elements of the form in the post method so now you simply write down the array for f name l name email and mobile this is my value and now i give you the column name of the database this is my here is the query so here is the database field name f name second was its l name and third one is mobile email and fourth one is mobile so now my query is run ready for the run so i can check that my query also the query is ok or not so i will simply echo now all the things are comes in the response so i have to run that file with the form submit that then it's going to the server side so i will test again with click on submit button now you can see that my insert into database query is directly run there so my query is ok now i fire the query into database directly I have to use my SQL query. I put one variable dollar con that is for connection and query is for insert data into the database. Okay, so 
Now my query is prepared. I will show you that all data I will put in from my phone that directly goes to the database. They will serve simply with Ajax. This is the last step for insert into database. So you can see that there is the my data is already done. Now I will remove my code and show you the with success message how to okay now i'll show you with success message in the response so you user can know about the data is successfully inserted or not so what i do i will use my last insert underscore id with dollar com so what is the use of that that my insert id is working on the base of the last inserted record that fetch that id so i can know the, what is the last data is inserted it's, if it's inserted successfully then i will give the message of success so i will put that and you can see that what is my last insert id i will check again with submit button and my last insert id is Again, already in database there is one record and my last record is two. So you got the alert message two. Now I will put in that response the alert message if response equal equal C then it success. Otherwise error. simply write down my message recordings dead and now reload the page so so you can see that it is last name see the response in the console there is the insert id is 3 and this is my response that's coming along so i will show you the message of success the record is inserted you can see in our alert as well as in console file thank you guys for watching my video now if you want full code of the uh, this video then Please visit my website web3tutor.com. Here is my website. You can show that. Please just type web3tutor.com and go to my YouTube section. Also, there is the, some more useful code in my website. So you can learn easily PHP, CSS, JavaScript, any other language simply from my website. And for more video, please subscribe my channel web3tutor.com here is my channel you can see that web3tutor.com please subscribe likes and comments on my channel